My name is Niall Barker, um, I'm the Technology Innovation Lead. My job involves getting to know different areas around the company, find out where there's capability gaps and finding where we can introduce technology to help the business. So as the demand of the future power system increases, it's really important that we at Rolls-Royce develop our digital technologies. A key example is the way that we use ALM to manufacture our parts for our future engines. This has the digital base from design, manufacture and inspection throughout. By creating parts like this, we can give that high performance for the engines to really match that customer need. On top of that, we recognise that the MOD has set up the 50-30 challenge to reduce the time and cost of the development of our future engine. Now to achieve this, again, digital technology have to be right at the heart of that, bringing us levels of efficiency that we've never seen before. So there's lots of exciting things that we're working on in the team at the moment, and lots in the digital area. For example, we're working on AR and VR training. So we are assisting and supporting our world-class fitters, inspectors and technicians by providing them with training in the virtual world. This improves availability, improves accessibility and means that classroom training can now be fully immersive. So through channels such as the ATI Boeing Accelerator, we have a really high level of engagement with SMEs from all over the world. So we work with these high-tech firms to introduce their technology and develop that, te that technology and capability within our company. So some examples of this are voice AI, uh, machine vision learning and digital inspection where we're, we're really seeing that step change in capability within the company. So it's a really good time to be part of the company as early careers. So the grad scheme and apprentice schemes and other early career schemes, there's so much going on at the moment. With the ever increasing move towards electrical and digital and data, there's a wide range of opportunities and in the grad scheme you're really encouraged to explore all these different areas.